Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Quick Freezes Game Room. As you guys can tell from the title above, this is my 100th subscriber video special. And uh, I just want to make this video because I hit 100 subscribers and I just really appreciate everybody, you know, watching my videos, watching my channels, you know, giving me feedback, stuff like that. So this video is for you guys. And before I do the whole special part of it, I just want to take a moment and thank a couple people. Uh, first person I want to thank is Todd Nolan. He used to do the, the title cards for my show. He's a really great artist when he does the 8 and 16 bit stuff. And he actually did the, uh, he actually designed the, the shirt that I wear in all my videos. So I definitely want to thank him. He's a really great artist. He helped me a lot when I started this channel. Uh, next up I want to thank uh, John Magner. He does the title cards for my Quick Free Versus series now. He, he draws them by hand and then he sends them to me. So uh, I want to thank him a lot. He, he's really supportive and great. He's a really good friend. So Jonathan Magner, I thank you as well. Uh, next person I want to thank is um, Matt Lambert. He, has, he shot the, um, the footage for my, uh, I don't know what you call it, the intro that I have playing of me playing with all the controllers and the DS and stuff. He shot all that footage, so I want to thank him personally for, for taking the time and doing that. Uh, another person I want to thank is uh, Ryan Lloyd. Uh, he hasn't really helped me with the channel except with advice. He's been giving me a really good advice on what I can do with my channel and uh, kind of like ideas and just stuff that would improve the show. So I want to thank Ryan Lloyd for that. Uh, another couple people, those are the people I know in real life. A couple people I do want to thank that I kind of met online. I want to thank the cast of All Gen Gamers. They're kind of like my inspiration to do the videos and channel in the first place. So I want to thank him. Or them, I mean. Uh, it's Pete Dorr, the Happy Console Gamer, Johnny Millennium, uh, John Gamester81, and uh, Jason Heine, the EM Review. So I want to thank you guys for you know giving me the inspiration to do this. Uh, another inspiration is obviously the Angry Video Game Nerd. He does really great videos. So them and... Uh, angry video game nerd I want to thank for inspiring me and I just want to give a shout out a co to a couple other people too that I've met uh, through the YouTube community a couple great people first off I want to uh, mention nostalgic Dan one check out his video guys he's really good he usually has unique ideas for videos like like he just recently did like an indies game review that I didn't even know about and I like I thought the game was very interesting so go check out his channel he does very unique videos other video is uh, uh, Game Worldish he's a cool little guy I think I'm not really sure his age but yeah he's a cool little guy he does like random video video game related movies so check him out he's really cool another guy I like to say is Play Lives or Play Alives. I can never say his name correctly, but I want to thank uh, or give a shout out to him. He's really cool. I've actually talked to him, you know, just kind of give him, and he actually gave me the idea for my 100th subscriber video, uh, which is actually a room tour. I'm going to I'm gonna just say right now. I'm, so my 100th special is going to be a room tour, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But he actually gave me that idea, so I want to thank him for that. And just, this is just a whole other, guys, I will list them all below. Other character, other YouTubers I met, uh, Bucci's Game Room, check out his videos. He doesn't really do a lot, but, you know, he, what he does do is really great. Uh, another guys I can think of is TrevGuy00. Let's see, uh, Demo Monster. He's a cool little guy, too. I watched him a couple of He does a couple of pickups, and I think he did a quite a few 3DS videos, so uh, check him out. He's really cool. I'll post all these guys with a link below, but check him out. They're really great guys. So Nostalgic Dan, Game, Game Worldish, Play Lives, Trev Guy 0 Bucci's Game Room, Demo Monsters, and then the All Gen Gamers podcast. Check them all out. They're really great guys. But anyway, I'm rambling on. So um, like I said, my 100th subscriber episode video is going to be a game room. So uh, 
let's just get started and I will show you Quick Freeze's game room in its entirety. Okay guys, here we are. This is the beginning entrance of Quick Freeze's game room. And right here, this is hanging on my door right here. This is Cartman dressed up like the cop from Season 2 of South Park. And it actually says, respect my authority. So, I, ha I got him hanging here on my door. Basically, not really threatening, but you know, he's just kind of there to guard my, my game room. So, let's just move in and I'll show you my game room. So... I'm just going to go around the room and show you guys pretty much everything, I hope. So, I'm just going to start up right here. This is uh, my graphic novels right here. Uh, not all of them, but most of them. These, I got Ultimate, Ultimate X-Men. I have Ultimate Spider-Man. This is all the complete series. I got Ultimate Fantastic Four. Uh, I got a couple Hulks and Harley Quinn. I got Watchmen, Kick-Ass. And right up here, these are all my... Uh, Calvin and Hobbes comics. I absolutely love Calvin and Hobbes. So I got all these different Calvin and Hobbes books. So I absolutely love Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, next to that, these are just uh, it's a random Star Wars figure. Right here, these are cups. I don't know if you can see these very well. These are the goblets that Burger King sold when the Lord of the Ring movies came out. So I got all four of them. If you look behind them, I got two more. So I got all of them. Uh, right here, these are a bunch of DVDs. Uh, right here, these are all my Blu-rays. I don't have many. I only kind of buy Blu-rays for movies that I know I absolutely love. Uh, a couple of them are just, let's see, I got Superman. Uh, again, more Superman, Star Trek, Scott Pilgrim, Kick-Ass, Hulk, uh, Ice Age, stuff like that. Uh, and then I got more DVDs. I got all the angry video game nerdy DVDs. Uh, most of them are just TV shows like Pawn Stars. American Pickers, Family Guy, and then I got more TV shows over here. These are mostly superhero related. I got the 1960s Superman show, Ultraman, G.I. Joe. So I got a lot of Superman, I mean, a lot of superhero DVDs. Let's see, uh, above that I got posters hanging on an incline of my room because it kind of just goes at an incline. But right here I got the Incredible Hulk from the movie. I got Hit Girl from Kick-Ass. And I got a Resident Evil Apocalypse poster. And then above that, this is hanging on my actual ceiling. I got a poster for The New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. These are hanging directly on my ceiling. So, uh, moving on. Right here, I got packaged figures. You guys are going to see a lot of figures in my room. But right here, I got Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees from Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th. These are my two favorite uh, horror characters of all time, so I absolutely love them. I'll keep the these will be in the package forever. Uh, above that is just a Death Smiles Collector's Edition box. Behind that, I got a uh, Android 16 from Dragon Ball Z Spawn figure. Uh, behind that, if you can see, it's in the dark. It's a Witchblade figure. And then below that, I got a my this is my Nintendo 64. With all kind of like all my controllers for all my different systems being guarded by a gigantic Spider Man and a mini Godzilla. And behind that, this is the Power Rangers RPM Megazord. So I love Power Rangers, so I have, I have, a, I have a lot of Power Ranger stuff in this room as well. See, below that, <coughs> this is where I kind of keep all my modern games. Where, you know, this is like I got a lot of Xbox, 360, DS. I got a lot of Wii's in here, a couple PS2's, but these, this is where I keep kind of like all my modern gaming. And I'm actually going to have to f kind of find like a another place to put these because I'm running out of room. But yeah, these are all my modern games for Xbox, PS2, Wii, DS, uh, PSP, etc. And then above the us, so that, I got, this is my Xbox right here. So, you know, not much to say, it's just my Xbox. Let's see. See if I can move the lighting a little bit. Okay, above that is I just got a couple of action figures. I got a little slime from Dragon Quest. I got Optimus Prime, 
Uh, I got Silver Surfer. Let me tell you about the Silver Surfer figure. He's absolutely my favorite figure right now because look, he has like very detailed muscles. So and I love to draw. So this guy is really cool. So when uh, when I want to draw like a figure in a certain pose, I can just take this figure particularly because since he's so detailed in muscles and stuff, I could just put him in any pose and just kind of draw him from scratch. And he doesn't actually have any distinct features. So basically, he's just a you know he's just a bald man. So he doesn't have any clothes. He doesn't have any like you know stuff he wears that gets in the way of his muscles. So he's a great figure to sketch when I actually want to draw something. Uh, above that, uh, right here, this is my PS2, so it, it is hooked up. I haven't played much of it, but got a couple figures. I got Homer Simpson in his underwear, Chris Griffin, Skeletor, Ash, and Don from Pokemon. Right here, this is my Nintendo Wii. I haven't really used it in a while because I don't know. I just haven't just haven't played with it. Uh, below that, on the floor. I don't know if you guys can see, this is my, my GameCube, obviously, this is my Sega Genesis, both hooked up, both work really good. Uh, right here, this is my Atari 2600, this is not hooked up, it's kind of a pain to hook up, especially for the TV I have, but I have hooked it up to uh, an HD TVD, it doesn't really look all that great, but it's okay. Uh, let's see, speaking of my TV, this is my TV right here, this is a 42 inch, uh... I can always say this wrong, Selviana TV, I don't know, but that's the name of it, it's 42 inch, it's really great, I love it, uh, it's really great for modern gaming, not for retro gaming, but it's still kind of good, uh, above that I got the turtle from Finding Nemo, and a plus Spider-Man, uh, next to, let's see, below that I just got a couple random figures, like I said, you're going to see a lot of figures, I got Jabba the Hutt, Iron Man, Halo Guy, uh, Marge Simpson dressed as a cop, a couple of mini Ninja Turtles, Flash, Captain America, Spidey, Data, Wolverine, and Sonic. So, uh, there's my iPod right there. So i got a couple of figures in front. Uh, see, below in here, this uh, kind of like dresser thing, I have more DVDs, mostly TV shows. So I have tons of DVDs, they pretty much match my the amount of action figures I have. Uh, right here, I got Iron Man with my replica of the Friday the 13th mask with my terror mask from Split House. And there's me filming everything. Let's see, above that, I got a poster of Tenchi, Lord of the Rings, and The Incredibles. This is my favorite Pixar movie of all times, just because it's superheroes. I absolutely love superheroes. And above that, I got a poster of Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. This is my favorite Harry Potter movie out of all of them poster of Freddy vs. Jason and then you know then the Star Wars posters so but right here I just got a, a couple I got a Kirby plush Batman figure got a couple Pokemon plushes let's see uh, let's see a couple of, this is more action figures this right here this is a die cast of Voltron figure from the early 90's right here I got a Jason Voorhees figure Kratos Ryu, Green Power Ranger, Skeletor, Hulk, Lex Luthor, Isaac from Dead Space, G two Gokus, because I love Goku, uh, my Naruto headband, uh, and this is my Captain Planet when I was a kid, This and this figure right here, this figure <coughs> is a Captain Planet figure that I actually painted when I was a kid. I absolutely loved uh, Captain Pollution, I thought it was really cool, so what I tried to do is make my own Captain Pollution figure, and I've had this guy ever since, so... Right here, this is all kind of like my video game strategy guys, they're just kind of like piled up. If you guys can see, I got Infinite Undiscovery, Fable 2, a couple uh, Final Fantasy ones. So, I don't know if you guys can see them all, but there's all my strategy guides. Uh, okay, right here, this is my kind of like my TCG card game decks. I got a deck for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic. So, I, I'm huge into card games, so I... You know, those are all my decks for those card games. This is just a bunch of random Poke uh, Power Ranger figures. These are all like kind of like my books, my novels, and my mangas. I got a lot of Star Wars mangas. I love Star Wars. And uh, for mangas, I got a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Naruto. Uh, this is kind of cool. You guys might want to check this out. It's kind of funny.
That's kind of funny. I love pressing that. You know, it says it every single time. Uh, this is Sid from uh, Ice Age. He actually talks to if you press his tongue. Not funny. Come on, is that any way to treat a sloth? <laughs> He's my favorite character from that movie. Uh, right here, this is all the kind of like the Spider-Man figures from the first movie. Uh, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Mary Jane, Green Goblin, and uh, Doc Ock from the second movie. Next to them is, uh, I got a figure of Popeye, it's kind of hidden. Then I got uh, Flash, and below that I have a boxed Optimus Prime from the first movie. I'll probably never take that out of the box. Optimus Prime is my favorite Transformer besides Soundwave. And then above all that, I got a Batman and Power Ranger poster. Then on the ceiling above that, I got a Punisher and Spider-Man 2 poster. I used to work at FYE, so I have all these like movie Power Ranger, movie posters of superheroes. Uh, right here, this is another Power Ranger Megazord with some random statues and stuff like that. So, uh, right here, uh, this is my replica He-Man sword from the 2002 cartoon that was on Cartoon Network. Uh, I absolutely love this sword. This thing, this sword is actually taller than I am. I'm not joking. This sword is actually really that tall. So, but yeah, that's my He-Man replica of the power sword from the cartoon. Uh, the other swords next to it, this is, they're not my swords, but this is the Sword of Darkness, I believe, and I'm not sure what that sword is, but those are my brother's swords. I got two, uh, three nunchucks hanging on the side of them. I think nunchucks are cool. So, and then right here, this is my, my colossal action figure wall. Right here, I got, let's see, uh, Star Wars figures. I got wrestling figures of Million Dollar Man and Jake the Snake. Above that is uh, Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes, double set. And then right here, I got Star Trek figures. I only got five of them in the box. I got Data, Jordy, Deanna Troy, a Borg, and Q. Uh, next to the, below the nunchucks, I got a green Power Ranger. I got um, Mati and Kwame from Captain Planet. And I got Guy also from Captain Planet. And this is actually a Portuguese um, action figure. If I zoom in, see it's not English. So this is actually a Portuguese figure. So let's see. Next to the power, uh, Captain Planet, I got a lot of Star Wars figures. And these Star Wars figures, these are all Luke Skywalkers. Luke Skywalker is my favorite Jedi in the movies and comics and books. So I got all different Luke Skywalker figures. That's uh, Darth Malak and Darth Raven from the Knights of the Old Republic game. Next to that, I got a Darth Maul. And this is the a concept figure or art of Han Solo when they were trying to make New Hope. They're actually going to make Han Solo a Jedi, but then, you know, they didn't, so... Like I said, this is my Luke Skywalkers. Uh, next to, I got more Luke Skywalkers. And then I got a couple of Spider-Mans, normal, black, Spider-Man 2099. Uh, again, Star Wars. And then right here I got my Darth Maul double blade lightsaber. And then this lightsaber right here that I'm pointing to. This is a two lightsabers that I cut the ends off and glued together. So this is my first, uh, first ever green bladed double lightsaber. So, okay. And then above that, I got, this is very special to me. This is a American flag that was given to my great-grandfather, Cliva One. So, and I'm, I'm the fourth Cliva. I'm Cliva Four. And he, this was flag was given to him. I'm not really sure the reason, but this flag is very special to me. It's been passed down since to my great-grandfather, to my grandfather, to my dad, and now to me. So I'm very honored to even have this. This is one of my prized possessions of all times. I'll never, you know, I'll never even open it, touch it, you know, whatever. It's always going to stay in that glass case. But that flag, the American flag, is very important to me just because it was my great-grandfather's. Okay, but anyway, next up, I got more posters. I got uh, Dragon Ball Z, I got Clerks 2, and Family Guy. And then below those posters, I this is all my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Um, 
Let's see, the only, these figures are all original. The only ones that are remakes are the four turtles. So, and you can tell that because the package of the turtles has all four turtles. But the package of the original guys actually has only that figure or that character on the box. So, Splinter will only have Splinter. The turtles have all four turtles because they're not the originals. See, and April has April. Metal has Melhem. And then below that, I got uh, Gambit and Wolverine. And then this is an Evangelion Unit 1 from the anime show. And then, oh, right here, this is this is one of my favorite childhood toys of all times. This is the Steak Puff Marshmallow Man. And if you can obviously see, there's kind of like some marks on him. Because what happened when I was a little kid, I was huge into Ninja Turtles, as you can see. And I basically tried to draw the bandana and the belt and the, you know, the armbands onto the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And it's, I've washed him over the years and the marker has never came off of him. So, but this is my, this is my favorite childhood toy since I was a kid. I love this thing. I'll never get, I'll probably give that to my, uh, my son, maybe. And then, um, see, down here, this is just kind of my, uh, these are a couple of random books I'm into. Got a couple of Star Wars. This is my uh, E-Hero collection. A couple of random books. I got uh, Alice in Wonderland, the Divine Comedy. And then below that, uh, this is my Nintendo 3DS. These are a couple of photo albums. Uh, oh, down there, this is even more strategy guys. I got a f the Final Fantasy... 13 strategy guide. I got a couple of World of Warcraft strategy guides, Dragon Age strategy guide. So, and then I got a couple of board games down here. These are all like kind of like my commons of the Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon card games. A couple of computer games down here. So, and then going over, this is my computer area. This is where I edit all my videos and stuff like that. Uh, my screen set, my wallpaper is obviously to turtles right now. But in front of the computer, I got a couple of action figures. I got Superman, Flash, He Man, um, my coffee. I got more He Man. I got the Simpsons comic book guy. He's my favorite Simpson character. Uh, Tom Servo. I got Power Girl right there. But that's my computer. That's where I do all my editing for my videos. And then above that, this is my shelf of gaming awesomeness, okay? This shelf is like, um, basically what I can say is it has games of my, all the systems I own, but my favorite games from those systems. So, I'll just put them out really quick. Right here I got Atari, I got Frogger, Pitfall, and Pac-Man. Uh, Nintendo, I got like Mega Man 2, Kickle Cubicle, uh, Final Fantasy, uh, Zelda. Uh, Super Nintendo, I got like Kid, um, Donkey Kong Country, Zelda. Goof Troop, you guys, awesome game, Goof Troop. This Nintendo 64, I got uh, Legend of Zelda, and the other one is um, GoldenEye. And then Sega Genesis, I got Spider-Man, Max and Carnage, uh, Sonic 2. And then right here, I got my DS. Um, I got a couple PS1 games, Final Fantasies. And then we got um, Xbox 360, Wii going into GameCube and PS2 and then above that I got a you know I got a Yoshi plush Rukia plush from Bleach Mar Mario and a little big planet Sackboy plush right here this is a Yoshi plush that my friend bought me uh, my friend Magna he bought that for me so I really appreciate him giving me that uh, above that I got a Kingdom Hearts poster with a Sonic plush hanging from the ceiling and then right next to that I got a uh, this is my, f this is like my favorite piece of artwork of all time. I don't know why, just, you know, I really love it. It's the Scream. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this painting before, but it's the Scream by Edward Munch. I think, I hope I'm saying that right, but that's my favorite piece of artwork of all time. I just got a poster of it. I absolutely love it. And then next to that is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 poster. Or not 2, just the cartoon. And then below that, I got a couple, another sword with some more Star Wars figures. And then right here, these are all my He-Man Masters of the Universe figures. All replicas. I don't have the original figures, but they're all replicas. But they are remakes of the original action figures. I got He-Man 
Faker, Skeletor, Merman, Stra uh, Stratos, and um, Triclops. And right there, if you can see him, is Zodak. So those are all Masters of the Universe figures, replicas. Down here, below that, I got a Mechagodzilla figure. This is a Optimus Prime Transformer from the anime series, Robots in Disguise. I got Rob. Everyone knows who Rob is. And then I got another Steak Puff. I love Steak Puff, as you guys imagine. And below this, my friend gave me this for my birthday. This is a, I don't know, kind of like a poster or something like that. But it's a framed poster, I guess, of a lot of just a bunch of Marvel characters. So, he got that for my birthday and I absolutely really love it. So, I think that's one of my greatest things I have. Uh, let's see, right here. Oh, you guys might find this amazing. My brother gave me this as a joke. This is uh, just a bottle of beer, but on the front of it, he knows I like Optimus Prime. So on the front of it, it says, Optimus Prime. And there's actually like a green giant type of character. He got that for me as a joke. I don't drink at all, but, you know, he actually drank all the beer and just gave me the bottle. Uh, right here, this is all, you know, my Superman collection you know superman the movie in all my different formats i'm not really going to go through it if you guys want to check it out i did make a video of my superman collection and then right here this is just a bunch of plushies and toys in right here i got a speed racer helmet this is for my cosplay when i dress as speed racer i got the green ranger helmet this is for the when i dress as uh, the green ranger for cosplay And then above that, I got just a couple plushes. I got um, Stitch. I got Zatch Bell. I got a random puppet. Uh, Mr. Bigglesworth. Right here is the original Ultra Zor from the Power Rangers. Uh, behind that, I, this is a bunch of Lord of the Ring figures. I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of dark. But I got a, let's see, a Ring Wraith. I think a Goblin, that is. I got um, Gandalf. Just a couple of this Strider. This figure was actually rare when the movie came out, so I'm glad I got him. Uh, let's see, below that, this is uh, my Curious George or Chim Chim that I use when I dress as Speed Racer. Uh, and these, this is my retro games right here. So, these are the box games I showed you for my recent pickups in April. But these are my, all my retro games. I got a lot of regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo. I got a Cutman action figure from the Mega Man TV show. I got Sega Genesis, uh, Nintendo 64. This is my Famicom Rockman games. I got uh, PS1 and GameCube games right there. So, so there's all my uh, my retro games right there. So, uh, a couple figures, and then right here, these. This is my oh, kind of like the majority of my DVD section. So. Um, guarding it is basically, I got the original Power Ranger of the green and white. I got the new sound wave from the new movie and from the new cartoon show. So these are both sound waves. I got uh, Optimus Prime. I don't really like that figure all that much. Above that, I got a couple of CDs. And I got a huge Steak Puff Marshmallow Man from there. I got a one of the aliens from Toy Story, Sentinel. And that's Anakin's Pod Racer right there. So I got a lot of that. But yeah, these are all my DVDs. Uh, I I remember back when my friends used to tell me that I basically had a blockbuster in my house. So, and I guess it's kind of true, I suppose. But because see DVDs, because even behind these DVDs, I don't know if you guys can see, are more DVDs. So there's actually two layers of DVDs there. So, oh, I just dropped an action figure, but. But yeah, there is my DVDs right here. Oh, my friend Magner gave me this. This is my uh, Army of Darkness kind of like doll. Really cool. I love it. He gave me that like a while ago. Uh, this is my original Nint Nintendo system. So, but yeah, there is my game room right there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, yeah. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked what you see, cool. Please subscribe, and uh, I really appreciate it. So, 
Oh, just want to show this off really quick. That is my Quick Freeze 4 t-shirt that I always wear in all my videos. It's kind of hanging on my Rock Band stand set. But, again, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and please subscribe.